highly sensitive people have more active mirror neurons, which is the oh. more empathy, more compassion. So our brains literally show that we feel what other people are feeling. And it's interesting to note that narcissists have less active mirror neuron. It's shown that the ventral medial cortex in the free prefrontal cortex is more activated as well in, in HSPs, which means vividness and emotions. Mm. So the, our brains are showing that we're not making this up. It's, it's how we're experiencing the world and it's valid. It's okay to feel this, whatever it is, it's okay to feel this. That's my, one of my favorite terms. It's okay to feel this. I'm not going to run away. I'm not going to make myself wrong or be mad at myself because I'm human and I'm a sensitive human and I have feelings and I have emotions and my body is telling me something. I'm going to allow it. Um, feel it in the body. And actually, if you want, we can do a, another brief little um, technique together that puts all of this together uh, after. Um, and then so you're you're coming into your body, not trying to run away from it, feeling it, and then how can I turn towards this with with love, with nurturing, with support, you know, rather than making it wrong? We have as sensitive yeah. people, we have these qualities where they we don't have to learn to be nurturing. We just have to learn to turn it inward. Dive into what is an HSP and um what is what what will we look for? What are the traits? What does yeah. that even mean? Great question. So um, I'll start off by saying that sensitivity is on a scale. So you can be anywhere from not sensitive to moderately sensitive to highly sensitive. And to have the trait of high sensitivity, um, which is actually technically known as sensory processing sensitivity, um, and it's a trait, it's not a disorder. Um, uh, there's four main components. So to actually have the trait, there's four main components and it has a nice little acronym, um, DOES, D-O-E-S. So I'll tell you the four main components. So the first, the D is depth of processing, which basically means that highly sensitive people take in more information from the environment. And then we think a lot about that information that we take in. So we're taking in more and thinking more. Um, the second, the O, is overstimulation. So as highly sensitive people, we have a sensitive, more sensitive nervous system, and we're more easily overwhelmed um, by all that information that we're taking in. And this means that we generally need more time to process, uh, process the information, process our lives, and also more time to rest, more self-care. The E in does is uh, kind of twofold. It's emotional responsiveness as well as empathy. So our sensitive nervous system will react more quickly emotionally. Um, so we tend to feel both positive and negative emotions more deeply. We often think about the negative ones, but the positive ones too. Um, and we're extremely empathetic and understanding of other people's feelings because we feel so much ourselves. Um, and then the, the last part, the S of does, is uh, sensing the subtle. So basically, as sensitive people, we can um, notice more subtle differences in the environment that the general population tends to miss. So that might mean we're more affected by bright lights or smells or sounds or textures and other kind of sensory experiences. And this can lead people to think that we are exaggerating or that we are being too sensitive, but it's really that we're able to pick up on more than other people. So um, I'll talk about later how sensitivity is a gift, but it's hard sometimes to feel that when other people are not validating your experience. Mm. Um, 